back with uh, this piece right here. I mentioned that I had recognized the Buddha's hairstyle, right? And where I'd seen it is actually, um, let me see if I can get this. Where I'd seen his hairstyle, right, was here. Let's see. You, you won't be surprised when I type it in. Sorry. Check this out, right? The Bantu Knots. The Bantu people of Africa have a hairstyle called the Bantu Knots, right? Let me see if I can take this out. I want to get a certain picture here. There's a lady that did her hair, and I really like the way it stood out. Do, 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 do. I mean, well, here are these, here are these, but hold on, let me see. Here, here it is. Look at this. Tell me that's not identical to the Buddha. Check it out. Bantu, not the Bantu people of Africa that are in Africa. The ones that the Haya people are under their name as an umbrella. Let me see here. Let's see if it has it. Look, I'm not the only one apparently. That, oh, sorry about that. Not the only one apparently that has recognized that. Let me see here. I've seen as someone else put together a post somewhere that was uh, really indicative. You see that, and that right there, hold on. Well, I know this is off topic, but I've seen that in that one, this video with uh, the Choctaws, right? And, and I was le learning about that was, like, that was like the hand of Shiva, the hand of the destroyer or something like that. What the Choctaw, what, what did the Choctaw know about that? You know what I'm saying? That they would leave it in their artwork. I thought that was interesting. But I think it's interesting that they're going to bring this up when I'm trying to find out the, when I'm trying to pull up the Bantu knots. I got an image, I guess. I think this might be on my uh, Google Plus. But there that is, right? <clears throat> Oh, and I also ran across, if you actually look up uh, on the online etymology, I thought it was interesting, I found out peanut butter is also one of the names of peanut butter that is common here, is actually contributed to the Bantu people. So once again, we got more of their influence besides, besides the banjo and, and the Haya people being under them, you know, which I thought was interesting. But uh, the other thing I wanted to bring up, and I know this is off topic, but I, I, I ran across this while, I came across this while I was actually looking up the Bantu people. But uh, this right here is uh, the Bene, uh, the Bene um, uh, plates here. You know, um, I actually thought it was interesting. I, I spoke to a brother on Google Plus, and he, you know, he said these are these are these are Edomites. You know, from what he can see, these are Edomites, and I thought it was interesting. You know, because their their style looks a lot like um, look Japanese, I guess, to me. You know, or a, a Asian. And I'm like, these people are over there on the western coast of Africa, so what would they know about that kind of stuff? Like, I just was thought, I mean, this is a whole, uh, pic these, these pictures are all in the museum in, uh, in London. London went in and got these, and they're all over there. I just thought this was really interesting that the, uh, but I came across this one, I was looking at the hairstyles, to be honest, and, and, I, and, and looking at this here, I thought that was uh, strange. Check this out. You know. But I thought it was interesting. Was, and I think I, I do remember a, a brother from uh, the GOCC back when I used to talk to the, this couple. See, I met a couple that um, were in California and they were moving out to South Carolina to join a GOCC camp. Um, the GOCC was out there in their camp and they also had, uh, what were they, uh, the, the remnant of the Amasi uh, Indians, the Black Amasi. See, look at that. Doesn't that look some type of Japanese style, you know, some Asian look? But what would they know about that in Africa, dressing like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, look at that. I mean, you might say it might be Arab, but it looks, but to me, that looks Japanese. But I also found out that they do have some type of um, relationship to one another. Uh, I'm not trying to jump subjects, but. I was just trying to show you one of the things I've seen that was interesting. Look, look here. 
and from what I understand, their governments are actually um, in a friendly relationship to one another. Uh, but I, I know they got their name changed when the Portuguese got there. And you see, I'm on this thing where I'm trying to figure this out because I, I want to say there's something wrong with this. There's something wrong with, with all of this because, you know, I spoke to Lex and, and I'm not trying to disrespect you know, the, 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 the knowledge he gave me in the teaching. I just feel like the Bantu people, the people of Niger, Niger and all this, they were brought here and dropped here by the Portuguese, by the Spaniards, by others, being taken out of their land, brought here to this land, you know, for some, to, 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 to these lands. That's how I feel, and I'm, I almost thought I had came, I almost thought I could prove it when I was looking into President um, John Adams and in uh, some of the letters he was writing with the British about uh, purchasing uh, land uh, in Africa along with the Brits and others. But as I read it a second and a third time, it didn't seem like it was what I thought it was. I thought they were saying that they were purchasing it to bring their slaves there, you know, so. But I thought that was, I thought that was interesting. I ran across that because, like I said, when I was looking into hair and stuff like that, and I came across this, but yeah, like I said, there's a brother, you know, he explained to me that, you know, he looked into these people, and he says that these people are um, Edomites. And I know that, uh, um, like I said, this GOCC cat was explaining the same thing, you know, but I guess I didn't respect the GOCC cat as much as I did from the brother I speak to on uh, Google Plus when he was telling me that because I'll be honest, I had a, a conversation with the, with this couple and, and the, the guy that was teaching. You know, they're kind of their leader and everything, and uh, he was explaining to me, you know, we're going to Africa, we're going over there to the Middle East and stuff like that. We're gonna be taken over by the ships of Tarshish if we don't can't afford to go already. But he, at the same time, he brought up that if stuff goes bad, he's just going to pack up and go down to South America because he can just fit in with the people down there. You know, look at this. Isn't so I just thought that was interesting, you know. Um, and there's some videos too on YouTube about these people, you know, more. I haven't dug into it too far, but I thought it was interesting. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. I, I uh, we'll see where this goes, see where the dialogue leads us. Like I said, I thought that was interesting. I actually, I actually, after I came across all this, I, it was, I, I'm ashamed to say this, I actually went back and looked at my DNA. And uh, I'm, what I mean ashamed is like I didn't already know this when I did the DNA test and I you know, read all the answers, you know, things off that I was, that uh, I didn't remember that I actually have this in my blood. So, you know, I might, you know, from, if this gentleman was right, I might have, you know, Esau's blood flowing for me. So, um, and wait till I got, I got this other video. I, I mean, this could be a lot better than this one. I got this other video where I actually break down uh, Niger because you won't believe the name Niger actually leads to a portion of it leads to John, <laughs> and, and, and the name John in, in England and how the, the what I mean in English and, and John coming from what Hebrew and stuff like that. So I thought that was absolutely hilarious when I took that word apart, the name apart. But anyways, send W. Smith. There's just I guess this video is just a few of the thoughts that I had um, put together. So. Anyways, have a good night, everybody.